What if I told you there's a YouTube channel making $800,000 per year that was started less than 365 days ago? This channel has already exploded to over 3 million subscribers. And if you've been on YouTube lately, you've definitely seen channels like Fern creating these mesmerizing 3D animated documentaries that rack up millions and millions of views. Here's the crazy part part. Most people think you need to be professional 3D designer with years of experience to create videos like this. Well, they're dead wrong. I've cracked the code and I found a way to recreate these viral animations using nothing but AI tools. And in this video, I'm about to show you exactly how I did it. Both of these videos look identical, right? One took a team of 15 professional animators weeks to create, the other I made it in 15 minutes using AI. Now in this video, I'll give you complete blueprint, every step, every tool, every secret prompt I use to replicate Fern's million view formula, even if you have zero 3D design experience. Here's exactly what we're covering today. First, I'll show you my custom GPTs that I built specifically for this niche. One creates viral topics, other write scripts and third generates perfect image prompts that follow Fern's exact formula. Then we're going to create those stunning 3D visuals and animations all using AI. Finally, I'll reveal the secret that makes these videos addictive. Plus, I will also give you some other tips to keep the viewers glued to their screens all the time. And here's the best part. I've created a step-by-step -step document for you with all the prompts, all the tools, and everything I mentioned in this video. But I also snuck a golden nugget in there that will make your video editing 10 times better. You absolutely do not want to miss this. It's completely free, so grab it in the first link in the description. Now let's dive into step one of the blueprint. Step one generating viral topics. The first thing we need is a killer topic and a storyline. Fern typically focuses on historical events, politics, or true crime topics that naturally create suspense and keep people watching. Now, here's where most people fail. They try to guess what topic will go viral. I don't guess, I use real data. So what I did is I've built a custom GPT called the Fern Idea Generator that has been fed data from all the most successful channels in this particular niche. I spent hours analyzing hundreds of viral topics, training it to understand exactly what makes content explode on YouTube. And honestly, I've never seen anybody go this deep. The best part? You can use this exact same GPT yourself. I've made it available public and it's in the description below. Let me show you how powerful this is. I simply ask, find me three video ideas with unique storylines from the past year. And boom, it gives me topics that are all pre-validated based on viral performance data that has been studied and after scanning through them the bones that keep washing ashore story immediately caught my attention it's mysterious it's historical and it's perfect for documentary format which is something that we're looking for step two script generation now here's where the real magic happens most people struggle for hours trying to write scripts and i've Solve that with another custom GPT. So meet the Fern scriptwriter, my second custom GPT, and it's specifically trained on Fern's writing patterns, pacing, and storytelling structure. So this is also available for you to use in the description. I'm pretty generous in this video so far. So I simply tell the Fern scriptwriter, go ahead and generate a script for the bones that keep washing ashore story, and I paste the little snippet 
snippet I got from my custom GPT to give it some more context. Now, without any additional prompting, it creates complete script using the exact same language that I want and that is present in the Ferns videos. Now, without any additional prompting, it creates a complete script using the exact same language patterns as most of the viral Ferns videos, which is really great. So you can look at the structure, the hook, the buildup, the suspense is pretty much identical to their formula. Now, this entire process that would normally, you know, take a team of writers days to complete, it's done in under five minutes, all by using my custom GPTs. Step three, generating image prompts. Here's where things get even better. Now, most people struggle to create effective prompts for AI image generation and you know they get generic uh, boring results that look nothing like Fern's signature style which is a 3d style we're looking for so i've solved this with my third custom gpt the fern image generator now this gpt takes your script and automatically generates professional great prompts optimized for the distinctive 3d polygonal style you see in all the viral videos from Fern. I simply go paste in my script and ask create fern style image prompts for each scene in this script and I also paste the part of the script or entire script inside this custom GPT. For this tutorial I only did the intro but you get the point. You can do this for the entirety of the video. Now look at these prompts. They're specifically crafted to produce that exact fern aesthetic. Each prompt includes the lighting, each prop includes the camera angle, art style, and composition details that make this visual so distinctive. You can grab this GPT in the description and you can use it for all of your next videos in the exact style that Fern is doing. Step 4. Generating visuals. Now it's time for the visuals. Now I head over to OpenArt and I use their Flux Dev model, which is absolutely crucial for getting that professional 3D look just like Fern. Now, if you want to follow along, you can check out OpenArt link in the description. Here's the entire process. I take the first image prompt from my Fern image generator. And from there, I just paste it directly into OpenArt Flux Dev model. Okay, once I have that, I hit generate and boom. Boom! FluxDev delivers an image with the exact 3D mannequin style we're looking for. It's literally identical to what Fern uses and I would dare to say that ours could be even better than what Fern is using here as an example. Now the key is using FluxDev specifically because Honestly, I've tested dozens of other models and nothing comes close to matching Fern's aesthetic like this particular model does. So what I do is I repeat this process for every scene until I have a complete visual library. Step 5. Animate with Clink 2.1 Static images aren't enough. We need that signature camera movement that makes these videos hypnotic. Now for this, what I did is I used OpenArt's Clink 2.1 video video generation model. This is honestly a game changer for animation, quality and Honestly, this model is one of the best models out there. And honestly, trust me, I tried all of them. So this one is the best one. After I upload my first scene image, I simply paste the prompt that I provided in my prompt document that you can also find in the description. Now, one thing you can do here is you can add a negative prompt as well. This is the type of prompt that will tell Kling what not to use in a video, such as text, watermarks, and stuff like that because we don't want that in a video but here's where Kling 2.1 really shines it's the camera movements it produces these incredibly smooth and professional camera movements that we want i add the prompt and the negative prompt as well i set the quality mode to pro i set duration to 10 seconds and i hit generate using the Kling 2.1 model look at this result smooth camera movement natural character mode Ocean, zero glitches this looks exactly like it was created by a professional 3d animation studio and not ai 
and this is what we want now the difference between regular ai video generators and you know generator like clink 2.1 is night and day the motion is so much more natural and cinematic with clink 2.1 now i repeat this process for every scene that i have building my complete video library step six voiceover creation now that we have the images the videos we need that distinctive documentary narration style and for this i use 11 less which is hands down the most realistic ai voice platform out there now plot twist the voice you're hearing right now it's made by 11 left just kidding of course this is my voice i browse through the voice library on 11 labs and honestly i couldn't really find the voice that i was looking for and that perfect match the viral documentary style I really wanted and that happens sometimes so instead what I did is I used their voice cloning feature with my custom prompt to recreate a voice from a successful channel in this niche the result absolutely perfect now i copy my script from the fern scriptwriter gpt and i paste it into 11 labs now pro tip here use commas capital letters and exclamation marks to add emotional variation and that natural pacing that fern has from there you simply click generate and in seconds i have a professional quality narration ready to go it's that simple for 30 years, skulls and bone fragments washed ashore on the Jersey Shore. Step 7. Editing the clips. Time to bring everything together. I'll demonstrate this in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is where the real magic really happens. Now, although you can use any other video editing software for this example, I use Premiere Pro because that's the software I use most often. Now, first, I drag the voiceover to the timeline I add in some bold text just to make it more appealing and of course I add some animations as well to create that fast paced engaging rhythm that keeps the viewers hooked just like what Fern is doing in their videos. Next I add my Clink 2.1 animated visuals in chronological order matching them perfectly to the narration timing. This is very crucial as well. But here's what really separates amateur from professional video editors here. I I leave strategic gaps in the timeline for additional b-roll visuals because if you study fern's content you'll notice they don't just use simple animations they mix in youtube clips tiktoks news footage whatever supports the story for images google search is your friend need a photo of the protagonist simply search download and add a subtle zoom for a visual interest next is sound design this is where most creators fail. They focus on visuals and forget that audio pretty much carries 50% of the emotional impact of that particular video. Now, here's my golden nugget. If you want the best possible, and when I say best possible, I mean like movie type sound effects, visit freesound.org to get the best sound effects out there. You can get background music, you can get sound effects and much more. Otherwise, you know, you can also find really good and cool sound effects and packs on Reddit and X. And you can find also some folders as well, where you have like thousands of different sound effects however what you can use if you want is also 11 labs for sound design and sound effects as well you can simply go to sound effects section in 11 labs and you can find the best possible sound for your type of documentary for this video i chose one of the sound effects and i added it underneath the voiceover i adjusted the levels a little bit so it enhances without overpowering the entire video and the voiceover step eight creating the perfect thumbnail. Here's something most people overlook. The thumbnail can make or break your video success. Now for this, what I use is a software called Pixels. It's a AI thumbnail generator. Pixels is one of the best AI tools for creating viral YouTube thumbnails. I simply input video topic and it generates a thumbnail concept that follows proven viral patterns, just like burns thumbnails as well now look at this thumbnail we want something that makes people click and this is the one compelling visuals with that perfect balance of mystery and clarity and we also have text as well which is really really great so i selected the thumbnail and i make 
minor tweaks if needed to match my brand style for this one i didn't do any tweaks and this is the result a thumbnail that scientifically is designed to get clicks before we end off the video here i want to address something very crucial so if you find value in this video consider subscribing for more valuable videos just like this one okay now that we have that out of the way let's see the final video result for 30 years skulls and bone fragments washed ashore on the jersey shore no graves no bodies just pieces of the dead carried in by the tide and in 2025 the mystery was finally solved with a name that had been lost for nearly two centuries what happened in jersey at that time where did all the bones come from who was behind this this is the power of ai driven content creation professional quality viral potential created in just a couple of minutes instead of weeks every tool every gpt every secret i revealed in this video is waiting for you in the description and i also attached a complete toolkit with all the prompts and assets as well if you want to see more videos just like this one go to my channel check out some of my most recent videos i promise that you won't regret it at least you will learn something new that you can implement within your own creator journey or within your own business as well my name is Tin, and i hope you enjoyed this video we'll see you in the next video bye bye